Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. I meant to get to this a little bit earlier in the week. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but DC Comics is, are setting up that rumored crisis event in 2022. We know that Joshua Williamson has been working on Infinite Frontier, the six-part miniseries that came out uh, after the Infinite Frontier kind of uh, relaunch of DC Comics coming out of uh, Future State. Was it Future Future State? It's been so. It feels like everything's happened, you know, in the last few months. So we finally got to issue six. He, we know this is the the first part of a trilogy. The second part is going to be Justice League Incarnate, where we see President Superman, Captain uh, Carrot, and some other heroes are patrolling the Omniverse. And then presumably, presumably the third chapter will lead directly into this next crisis. And it kind of gets explained in Infinite uh, Frontier number six, right, written by Joshua Williamson with Sir Monaco, Ramulo Fajardo Jr., Tom Nal Napolitano, and Mitch Garrids on art. And this is essentially the culmination of the entire thing where we've seen Dark Side battle all these DC heroes and anti-heroes. We know that uh, Wally West is now the Flash on Justice League, so Barry Allen could be the Flash on Justice League Incarnate. He was a representative of Earth Zero, and he plays a part in this. Have you ever heard of Barry Allen be playing a part in a DC crisis event? No way. Shocking that this could happen. We do know that we saw Barry Allen essentially skipping through the Omniverse. He didn't realize he could do it. I think he ended up getting to where the quintessence were. He was the one that discovered they were murdered. All of a sudden, Psycho Pirate got a hold of him. And, uh, you know, things got interesting, obviously, with Darkseid. And Darkseid's goal was to unlock a secret power hidden in the outside the Omniverse. And he needed Barry Allen because he can actually skip through these things to actually get outside the Omniverse and create a crack and then there was a big battle and over the course of the battle dark side started to lose his grip on his power and decided to send all the heroes back to their locations and declared a truce for now but it's not done in this comic issue we do see dark side has formed a family of villains steppenwolf the sod calabac grail and granny goodness in hopes of uh, putting their differences aside and bring in the incoming war, i.e. the next crisis that's coming. But that's not it. He also brought in some other villains that are under his control. The Empty Hand, Upside Down Man, Eclipso, and Necron. And he talks about his plan to crack the Omniverse. And Darkseid has asserted that it that he isn't the only one hoping to control the power of what is beyond it, i.e. the great darkness, which you've seen in, in uh, DC Comics before. So Darkseid and his family of villains that want to bring in this uncoming war need Flash to crack the Omniverse. Not shocking, Flash can do stuff like this. And that is essentially what the comic book, uh, you know, Infinite Frontier number six is. Now there's an epilogue, which has a lot more interesting information. Brings in some uh, a character that we saw in the very first crisis back into prominence, and we get a very interesting ending here. So I'll show I'll show some of these pages. In the epilogue, Barry ends up in a realm known as Multiverse Number Two, and is joined by none other than Pariah, the character from the very first uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Pariah's uh, experiments to view the creation of the universe resulted in the anti-monitor learning of Earth's existence and the destructive ways of antimatter. Uh, he just survived through the uh, intervention and the benevolent counterpart known as the monitor and has a, and by the end it acquired the ability to travel from one alternate Earth to another. Makes sense that he would take part in something like this. Uh, but he's been forced to witness the untold billion parish. He was later killed by Alexander Luther of Earth-3 before we saw him reanimated in Blackest Night. So we have the pariah whose job it is, or who can go around and, and skip through the multiverse and see things, has returned, and he goes to talk to Barry Allen. And he has some uh, very prophetic words. 
but no one would listen. They could have stopped it, but they didn't. You have any idea what that does to a person to be forced to witness infinite earths being erased? The anti-monitor destroyed it. Alexander Luther tried to find the perfect world and Darkseid wishes to control it, but they are all wrong. There is another way. Barry Allen asks, who are? And he says, my name is Pariah and it's time we moved on. Stop apologizing for the past and let the real multiverse truly live. Well, what would we need to do to really let the multiverse truly live? Well, Pariah has a plan, and we see that Barry Allen is transported to another reality, his own reality that has been dubbed Earth Flash dot one one dot dot one dot. <laughs> and this uh, claims that it's going to be continued in 2022. So it appears that Pariah, knowing that Barry Allen is going to or has been has taken Barry Allen and placed him in his own universe for safekeeping, hoping that Darkseid and his family of villains cannot find him so he can crack the omniverse form and bring in the upcoming war and Darkseid can, can can discover the great darkness. This is a good plan uh, obviously when we see Barry Allen is probably going to be in a nice little existence. We got he's got his kids there, he's got Wally, he's got uh you know, he's he's got the whole family. Wonderful nice little place and uh the um and pariah says we'll all be happy no matter what as in hey everyone's gonna be happy as long as you're containing this this little place here unfortunately for pariah and he probably knows this there are other speedsters out there that can likely crack the omniverse one being uh barry allen i'm sorry wally west but we also um you know you have bart allen out there potentially uh, even more powerful you have uh godspeed certainly would seem like a character that could probably crack the omniverse maybe even reverse flash although well, last time we saw he probably doesn't even know he's a villain anymore right unfortunately so this seems like a good plan they're going to hold him there for safekeeping but i do not believe that this is going to contain the upcoming war dark side is going to find a way to crack the multiverse or whoever it is the other entity that's trying to find the great darkness so they can uh, you know basically end the omniverse which will essentially bring in whenever that happens will be the next crisis event everything will change once again and um the dc comics continuity maybe <laughs> restarted this is what they do all the time people we knew it was likely coming so if you read infinite frontier and you enjoyed it i'm glad you did it was not a comic book for me but we certainly got some very big revelations in infinite frontier number six from joshua williamson the new writer of batman and there certainly are bigger implications throughout the DC Omniverse now. But does it affect the, what's the other verse they have? The linear verse. But what about the linear verse? <laughs> so many stupid names. Uh, so we shall see. Barry has been hidden away for safekeeping. There's likely going to come a time when the Justice League wants to know where he is. Or, uh, or Justice League Incarnate. Maybe that's what Justice League Incarnate is, is them searching for Barry Allen. Unfortunately, they find him, they bring him out, and that allows Darkseid to uh, fulfill his plan. Perhaps in the third chapter. Not really certain, but the DC Comics, uh, if you're enjoying what we're doing in DC Comics now, don't get too attached to it, because I imagine within the next 12 months, it's all going to go away for a new crisis event, so they can reset everything, and we can uh, do the same old song and dance. And that's the upcoming DC crisis as explained sort of in, in uh, Infinite Frontier number six. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.